witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the witch's hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out from the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Then he dropped it politely and eagerly said, I'm a dog as keen as can be, is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and wished they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail as the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, <coughs> there flapped a green bird with a bow in his beak. He dropped it politely and bent down his head low, then said, I'm a bird as green as can be, is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bud fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and wished they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shook with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, leapt out of the pond a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. She dropped it politely and then said with a croak, I am a frog as clean as can be, is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick and wished they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog, down they went tumbling into the a witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Roar! I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning on having witch and chips for t my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon grew nearer and licking his lips said maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch was a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had a four frightful heads and had wings like a bird. Its terrible voice when it started to peak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dipped and it squealed and it drove from the ditch and then it began to say to the dragon, That's all! That's all! He back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made the mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. He spread out his wings and was off through the sky. <coughs> then down flew the bird and jumped down from the frog. Down flew the cat and phew, said the dog. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be inside that dragon's inside. And she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find someone everything, thro throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and then the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Eggity, sickity, saggity, zoom! It was a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and wished they were gone. Witch